start um, dancing, and this is probably true of any uh, any profession, you don't know why you're doing it. You just do it, and you love it. And there's this feeling, a uh, cathartic feeling. I remember the first few times I performed, I was filled with emotion, and uh, I had no idea why. And I was curious to why. Why is this so powerful? I kind of do a lot of different things related to dance. So part of my research is um, related to um, teaching technique, teaching people new somatic practices and how to move and using different uh, different kind of techniques in dance training, some from tradition and some from new kind of somatic practices. And then in composition, I teach people um, how to make dances uh, using uh, cross disciplines and using different uh, elements that we use in all, all kinds of um, disciplines here. And then repertory, I make a lot of work, a lot of new work and invite guest artists to collaborate. and. Uh, and in aesthetics, I'm teaching students how to write and, and talk and think about dance in relationship to their own artistic practice. Um, and looking at aesthetic theory and the history of dance and the philosophy of aesthetics and um, get them to start talking about ideas in dance. What I love most about my work, uh, uh, I guess a couple things. One is just watching students in classes. Like in technique class, when you watch students fly across the room uh, dancing beautifully, it just, uh, it's really, it's really great. It's a great moment, particularly when there's students, I realize, who may not have the most technique, but just hook into a sentence, certain sense of musicality and just the raw um, kind of uh, connection with technique. What I'm trying to get at is something deeper than the mechanics. So when I see that happen, that's very exciting. Sometimes it's leading um, a lecture class where we've had this really inspiring conversation, and I'm just thinking about the conversation that we had, because I end up learning a lot from those conversations and from the classes as well. I get students to feel confident about how intelligent they are as artists and that form of intelligence is actually incredibly important, the way we think.